How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the ASO Yeo left-handed wireless mouse. Today I'm going to take a look at this, see how reliable it is, and we'll make a determination if this is a good mouse or not. Here's the box it comes in. Manual micro USB charge cable. Let's compare it to my Logitech Vertical MX. It's about five times the cost of this cheaper one, but if you are on a budget, it will do the job. I'd say the most important part of the mouse is probably how the click feels. Let's listen to it. The Logitech click button is a little bit more crisp, whereas in this ASO Yeo, the buttons is slightly muddier, I'd say. There's a USB dongle stuck at the bottom. This is a proprietary 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, not Bluetooth. And internally, there's a lithium ion battery that should last you about 30 days. Doing a quick charge test, a little red light turns on and it's drawing about 130 milliamps to charge it. This is a wireless only mouse. You can't really use it as a wired mouse by plugging in the cable. The USB charge cable is a bit longer than usual around four feet and 10 inches. I have the dongle inserted on the right side of the computer. The tracking on the wood surface is acceptable and the DPI button, you can push it because there's no feedback. I'm not really sure what DPI it's using right now. Now there's a little red glow for the tracking. On this wood surface, it tracks just fine even though it wobbles a little bit. The red light over here indicates that it's on, but if you wait a while, it turns off. As soon as you move it a bit, it turns back on, it's going into a sleep state. I have this heated desk mat over here. And if you look at the surface, it looks like this leather material. To me, it shouldn't be too hard a material to track on top of, but on top of this particular material, it has a hard time tracking if you just move the mouse slightly. Even if I move it towards the bottom, it doesn't move the mouse. You gotta put force onto the mouse so that it sits very flat on the surface and then it will move. So your mileage will vary depending on the surface you use it on top of. Let's say I just put a notebook over here. It tracks this just fine. So if you have a problem with the tracking surface, I'd say try to switch it, use a mouse pad. It's a little bit more particular about the tracking surface. The laptop's about two meters away. It can track up to 10 meters. And if I try to move the mouse, it is tracking just fine. And I tried it across the room and there's no problem as well. Don't forget to also remove the thin film on the legs here. This film is actually not as slippery. Now it feels much smoother than before. In terms of glass compatibility, it's not. Let me move it with the built-in trackpad and a piece of cardboard. Does that one fine. It's actually extremely lightweight at only 3.15 ounces. My Logitech MX Vertical weighs in at 4.5 ounces. Weight does matter whenever you're trying to scroll really fast. The less mass you have in a mouse, the less effort it takes to shake it left and right. Over time, this will feel a little bit lighter than this flagship Logitech product. Let's not forget that it's a vertical mouse, so it relieves a lot of your wrist strain. Personally, I've been using vertical mice for years. As soon as I switched over to it, no more wrist pains. Keep in mind it has a soft touch paint on it. So over the years of use, it will rub off slightly. If you guys are interested in this mouse, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.